I've been living this digital nomad lifestyle for the last two years in Southeast Asia, mainly in Bali. And I literally got from zero to $5,000 per month income within the first six months I was living in Bali. And in this video, I will reveal all my income streams and how you can also use them. When I moved to Bali, the situation was not the best because I had zero income online and also on my bank account just $3,000. And I also have 18,000 student loan debt. So yeah, it wasn't looking too bright. And I'm a normal guy from Finland, so I didn't really have any mentors or any skills or knowledge how I can make money actually online. But I, I just had a dream that I want to live in Bali. And luckily, I was able to make it happen. And hopefully now I can pass all this knowledge and inspiration for you so you can do that also. So when I moved to Bali, I just started YouTube like month before. And my dream was to do YouTube videos like about the Bali lifestyle and everything and make money with that but yeah it takes time with YouTube so I wasn't making any money with that but I also started Instagram a few years before and I was learning all those photography skills and Instagram skills so that was my way to make money in the beginning because in the beginning it's most important that you can make money with something to sustain your lifestyle while you're building the business that is your dream business for long term and I was doing just that I was putting so much time and effort to get collabs for the Instagram with brands and everything and I actually started to get quite many at that time when I started to reach out to so many brands and also some individuals saw my YouTube videos and Instagram and give me some freelance work. So actually for the first time I started to make consistent money on Instagram. And I think the main reason was that because I, I really had to <laughs> because otherwise I need to leave Bali and I was already loving the life in Bali. So sometimes just doing the move can be a good decision in the beginning because then you're really motivated to make it work. But I also recommend having something going on before you move so it's not too stressful in the beginning. So in the beginning this was my main way of making money and I was actually really happy to make around one thousand to two thousand dollars per month with all these freelance works and brand collabs and in Bali that's pretty much enough money to sustain your lifestyle and have a nice life in Bali one thousand to two thousand dollars per month for rent and food and everything and nowadays this kind of work is less important for me and even back then I didn't really enjoy it so much it was just a way of making money in the beginning but the learning lesson from this is that you probably have some skills or you can develop some skills that you can use in the beginning to make some money because there's always demand for many different things online for like social media management or video editing or like there's so many things you can do basically and reach out to people or maybe people know you for something so it's quite easy way to start making some money with freelance work but it also can be quite inconsistent sometimes and that's why back then I started to figure out if I could actually make money more consistently with some kind of remote job because I used to work for this company in Finland back in the day when I was studying in university so I was in talks with them if I could do something remotely and help them and actually they had something for me so I started to do that job part-time so that's another thing that for many people works very well to check their contacts and all jobs and everything if there's something that you could do remotely from Bali because that's pretty much one of the best ways to start in the beginning because you can have stable income you can enjoy your life you can focus on the business on the side but also not stress too much about money and you can actually sustain yourself because building a business especially like a social media business in Bali or something like it takes time to start making money with that so it's good to have something that you know that you can actually keep living and keep producing the content or keep building the business in Bali while you're still working part-time for something online and what I know from people that it's quite hard to find a remote job like if you're just searching online so that's why I always recommend if you just know someone who trust you because it's so much easier to get job that way and yeah since I started doing this remote job one and a half years ago I ever since I've been making around three thousand to four thousand dollars per month with this job and sometimes even more so it has been really a blessing because I I can really focus mentally like not stress about money and only do the collapse and everything that I actually want to do and is building my business not just trying to make something just for money and the third way of making money in the beginning and still for me was affiliate marketing actually if you don't even have a big audience on YouTube or Instagram but if they're interested in specific topic and you can find good products or services to promote it can be quite nice like a semi-passive income on top of everything for me in the beginning Bali visas was actually a really good way to make some money because back then you needed to have a business visa to come to Bali and everybody were a little bit confused like where to get them and I actually used really good visa agency myself called Bali Solve and it's like really trusted one so everybody who asked me about it and it was quite many people back then I give them the contact for Bali Solve and I get a little commission for everybody who use them and also a few years ago I joined LCA Lost Creator Academy and it really teach me a lot and it really helped me to level up as a content creator I met so many people through LCA and I actually traveled before Bali and in Bali with a lot of these LCA people so I really recommend it and sometimes I put the LCA affiliate link on my Instagram and YouTube videos and quite many people join from that and I'm really glad because it really changed my life and this way also other people can join it 
and experience it. So for the first year, I used to make like $500 every single month with this affiliate marketing method. So that pretty much paid my rent the whole time. So that was pretty awesome addition. But nowadays Bali is open, so you don't need business visa anymore. So that's pretty much completely gone. So there's not so much income this way. And of course I could try to find another product to promote with affiliate marketing, but I think the product needs to be like a really perfect fit for your audience or otherwise there's not really gonna be any meaningful income from that. But within the last year, I started to make way more money from YouTube, but not so much from the actual YouTube ad revenue because from that I used to make in the beginning just like $50 per month and it's more now, but it's still only around $300 per month. So not so much, but still it starts to add up. And also in Bali, you can get quite much with that amount of money, a lot of food, a lot of activity, scooter. So it's still meaningful, but way better way of making money on YouTube is partnerships with brands and companies because those pay so much better than the actual YouTube ad revenue. And also you can stack those. So that has been really good addition to the income from YouTube within the last year when I started working with brands and I actually managed to get quite many big brands and I actually just launched Patreon. So you can check that if you want to learn more details about all these income streams and how I can make them work. The food just came, but yeah, basically in the Patreon, I will be sharing everything that I don't really want to share on YouTube that is more personal or more detailed information about everything. So it will be really helpful for you if you want to be this nomad also. So check that out is the first link in the description. But I also don't want to do the integration ads for every video because then it takes away from the video experience and also it's a lot of extra work and it's not really building the business the way that I want and that's why I started the Patreon but still it has been good income since I started doing them around $1,000 per month with like 6,000 to 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. So yeah, you can actually start making quite meaningful money with partnerships even without having like a huge channel. And guys, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It only takes a few seconds, but it helps me more than you know. And the next way of making money has been my own products. And this has been my favorite because it's in my own control and I can decide how I promote it, when I promote it and how I create the product. So yeah, that has been really nice. But also, of course, making your own product sometimes like it takes a lot of, lot of work, a lot of time. So it's not so easy way of making money, but I think it's the most meaningful and it's the best long-term method of making money and this is also something that you don't need to have a massive audience to make some meaningful money with your own products i know many people who don't have big audience even on instagram or youtube just like a few thousand or ten thousand or twenty thousand are making crazy money way more than me with their own products as long as the product really fits well their audience and what their audience need and if they really get a lot of value from it you can make pretty nice money with your own products and i created quite many products during these few years but the main ones have been the bali guide because i just really that there's not really many good like guides for like everything about Bali and living here and the lifestyle and like little details like which areas in Changu are the best to stay and how to get the best deals for accommodation and how to stay safe and how to not get sick and how to everything like little things that are not so easy to find online and also just people like me who actually stay here for a while and moved here can know about so that's why I created the product and it has been quite popular but also I haven't promoted it so much because I feel like Bali guide in the end of the day it's not the most meaningful product for me and that's why I created Patreon because I really want to help you guys to achieve your this unknown dream life and in the beginning I also created the photo editing course and actually it's a mini course so it was quite easy to create and it's really valuable for people who don't know how to edit their photos and want to edit like me but the learning lesson from this was that the product market fit wasn't the best with this product because my audience is not really following me for photo editing or like my style necessarily it's more about the travel so yeah it sells a little bit but not not the best and I also haven't promoted it in a long time Time. And yeah, my number one tip for selling your own products is the product market fit is everything. You really need to create something that your audience really needs and gets the best value out of. So this is a good example. I had good experience with photo editing and I was really proud of my skills. And I knew that many people would get so much value out of that. But my audience wasn't following me for that. So yeah, it wasn't good product market fit. And that's why it was a little bit wasted time kind of to create that product in the first place. And I also have doing some coaching for creators and people who want to become a digital nomad or content creator or youtuber and this is actually something I really enjoy and has been meaningful because it's really nice to help people who are just starting out but what I don't really like about coaching is that it's not so scalable because of course there's only a certain amount of hours in a day so I can have a call with people one-on-one -on -one. so yeah this is the reason why I haven't really promoted my coaching like it's there on my website but yeah I haven't promoted it in probably in a year but it's still something 
that is nice to do when people reach out to me and ask about it and also it's a little extra income and for me average month from all these products and coaching and everything has been like 500 to 1000 dollars per month but it's really not so consistent and also for the Bali guide I haven't promoted it at all because I was traveling in Vietnam and Philippines and Thailand so of course it's not good to be just promote Bali guide but it's still actually doing quite well on the background because people still watching my old videos so that's all my income streams and remember that only one or two thousand dollars per month is needed in Bali and like three thousand is like really awesome amazing lifestyle and the most important thing I have learned is to find something that you really find meaning long term and you enjoy doing and also of course something that the world needs and it helps people and then I will double down on that because it's easy sometimes to think that you need like so many different businesses and so many different income streams when at the end of the day it probably makes you the most happy if you find something that is meaningful and you can focus fully on that instead of doing like so many different things but anyway thanks for watching and see you next week